Okay, and welcome back to for loops in Java. I know it's been a while. However, last video I did mention about arrays, which are one way you can list things in Java. You can also list them in Python too. They also work with Python. However, since this channel is a little bit in, now this channel is into Java, so we're going to be mainly focusing on Java. We're going to go back to Python after a little bit. We still have to do some while loops and then methods. Methods are where things get a little bit more interesting. But then after methods, I probably have a I probably hope to switch back to Python, which I think is honestly easier to learn than Java. So, however, though, if you want to list things in a break line break fashion, so like it's one it's one number and then you enter on the next line to another number you enter and like that. If you want to list it in like a line break fashion, then you have to use a for loop. For loops are mostly used to list numbers in a specific pat pattern whether it goes by fives, twos, or ones. So you can either have two, four, six, eight, ten, or five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, or ones, one, two, three, four, five. First, um, you gotta name your file, like always, right here. On my name my loops.java. And then let me get rid of all of this. Okay. So first things first, we need to um we need to declare our class. Our class is just the name of our file, which in this case is just simply loops. After that, we then need a, a static. This is our main file. This is where um, everything inside this is going to compile. I've been repeating the same thing for the past couple of videos because I want to really make sure that this sticks in your in, in y'all's minds because if you don't, then it's gonna be a problem. And then let's make our for loop. I'm gonna explain what each of these things do. So just go ahead and um, put it down for now. You can also change these values. You don't have to put exactly what I'm putting. Like you can um, change the um, five, you can change the 30, or you can change the zero. I'll explain what each of these do in a little bit. So you got that. And then this. Okay. And then, I, because I is our variable. So first, let me explain what this does. So we have our syntax, um, very important that you memorize that. And then we have our simple for loop. For loops are very easy to interpret because first is your um, what you're declaring. So what we're doing here is we're declaring a variable, which is the letter I. You can change it to A, B, C, or D, or whatever you want, X, but the t common, the common variable is i. And we are setting this equal to a starting value of our for loop. In this case, our starting value will be zero. After that, we, we are then making the variable i less than or equal to 30. This means that the loop will stop iterating once it hits 30. Once the number 30 hits, then the loop will stop iterating. And then you see i equals i plus 5. This just means the loop is going to keep iterating by fives. It's going to keep counting by five. It, so what this for loop is doing is that it's going to start with the value zero. It's going to keep iterating by fives, and then it's going to stop when we hit 30. So let's see if that works. And there we go. You see that we started the value with zero. It kept on going by fives and it ended with 30. And that is honestly the simplest way to make a for loop. Um, you can then change these values so I can make this a five instead of a zero. However, you'll, you'll probably see a zero most common, but most of the time you'll see a zero, but, but other times you won't. So let me go to my terminal. Okay, and then um, something happened. Hold up. Let me redo that. And there we go. Down here, um, you can ignore this on the top. This that that's from our previous code that we compiled. But then down, oh my bad, I lost it again. Where is it? There we go. Okay, so then we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So now it just starts with five. And then we can change this value. This value is just where the loop will stop. And then this value is how much you're gonna iterate it by. Twos, fives, tens, whatever. Um, when I say iterate, iterate is another word for repeat or how much it's counting by. But yeah, that is simply how you do for loops. So first, um, I want to recap one more time. Um, right here is our variable i. 
And then this is our starting value, what, what the loop is going to start with. And then after this, this is where this is where the loop's going to end. So after this number, the loop will stop. It will no longer iterate. And then this is how much the loop is iterating by or how much it's counting by. Whether it's fives, tens, fifteens, you can choose, you can change that in here. And then this will just simply allow us to print out the for loop. And that's it. That is all how you do a for loop. So I just want to say thank you guys for 300 subscribers. I know I haven't been really doing much with the year of 2021. 2020 was my peak year and then 2021 I've kind of started going downhill. But thank you still for 300 subscribers. I really enjoy how you guys like my content. Um, that really means a lot. 300 subs is a big deal. Um, let's hope to push it to 400. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps the channel a lot. Stay tuned to another upcoming video. Probably more videos I really hope should come out soon. Because I already did a video on while loops. And then I have to do methods. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So stay tuned to while loops, which will be coming next. And I'll see you guys next time.